morning, Mr. Sullivan. I have a meeting in a few minutes with some very jittery stockholders, Max. I hope you have good news for me. Yes, sir. I do, sir. Every supermarket tabloid in the country is running headlines about Andy Barkley and his killer good guy doll. What about his mother and the police that were on the case? The police were smart. They denied everything, which is fine because now they can't hurt us, but the mother's a different matter. She backed up her boy's story in court, so now she's under psychiatric observation. Jesus, where's the boy now? Midtown Children's Crisis Center. Foster custody's pending. My stomach hurts, Matson. Is this what you call good news? Uh, yes, no, I'm getting to that, sir. Uh, uh, our biggest problem has been the rumors. Good a lot, morning, Sullivan. A lot of people are saying that some joker here at the company must have tampered with the doll's voice cassette, you know. Uh, Hi, I'm Chucky. I'm the Lakeshore Strangler. Now I'm going to kill you. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> well, something like that. <clears throat> but the good news, Mr. Sullivan, is that now we've got the doll. We've rebuilt it from head to toe. A lot of it was burned to a crisp, but everything checks out. The voice cassettes, the servo mechanisms, we found absolutely nothing. This is a quality control report. I'm sure it'll make the stockholders very happy. I want to see the doll for myself. Absolutely. Gentlemen, Sullivan's here. Are we ready? Well, give us a minute. We're not used to making them manually. Chucky? Sometimes. You want to talk about it? No. Oh, come on, Andy. Remember what I told you? Talking helps make the nightmares Let's go, go away. away. Well, Chucky was trying to take over my soul. Why? He was this bad man who got inside my good guy doll so he wouldn't have to go to hell. But then he wanted to get inside me. Why, Andy? Because if he stayed inside the doll too long, he'd be trapped in there. He needed me because I was the first person he told a secret to. What secret? That his real name was Charles Lee Ray. Why? That's a scary dream. It was. You know, dreams can't hurt you. Dreams aren't real. Right? Right. In there! Hurry up, hurry up. I don't care what it takes. You put a lid on this. Yes, sir, that's not a problem. I'll take care of it. Listen to me. You smother this air out of here in 24 hours. You got that? Yes, sir. And off you will. Excuse me, I've got a meeting I've got to get to. As far as the stockholders and I are concerned, this matter is finished. Yes, sir. Uh, what do you want me to do with the doll? Stick it up your ass. Naturally, he was badly traumatized by the murders, but uh, they bounced back pretty fast at that age. Poor kid. What Andy needs now is a normal family environment. A fresh start and a chance to forget the past. Since you two have done so well with so many kids, we were hoping you might foster him until his mother recovers. There's always room for one more. Mm -hmm. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, well, he seems normal enough, but how has all this affected him? Well, in order to come to terms with something he couldn't possibly understand, he, um... 
turned it all into a kind of fairy tale. He insisted his doll was responsible. Said it was possessed by the soul of Charles Lee Ray. Who? The Lakeshore Strangler. He murdered a dozen people in this series of ritual voodoo killings. Are we even qualified to take care of a boy like this? Well, I understand your concern, Mr. Simpson, but I'm sure you can see that this is just a child's way of coping with a difficult situation. And he's fine now. He just wants to get on with his life. So, Andy, what do you like to eat? All kinds of things. Well, it's your very favorite food in the whole wide world. Chocolate. <laughs> Besides chocolate. Mm, my mom used to fix me eggs for breakfast. I like eggs. You got it. Oh, we should stop at the store. Uh, the one down here? Yeah, the organic one. You're in luck, Andy. Joanne's a terrific cook. You like sushi? You know what I mean by sushi? Still look out!